grab them and then what you're doing is you're checking the sex. So this one here, if you look at that, all of these animals, so they've got these little swimmerettes underneath on every, you see those little things that are moving there, that's what keeps moving uh, airflow around them. My name's John, I work for Glosh Wildlife Trust and I've been working on our crayfish recovery programme. Uh, it's the native crayfish, the white claw crayfish is uh, the only native species we have and we have two very vulnerable spe uh, populations uh, in the headwaters of the frame and we've been working with the farmers and landowners to enhance those habitats but also to move some of the crayfish that we have in those locations to other prepared sites elsewhere in the same catchment so that we can expand the population back to its former glory. Over the past couple of years, what we've been doing is moving approximately 200 animals harvested from 500 meter stretches from the donor populations and moving those to prepared arc sites elsewhere in the same catchment. Here we are in the Ruston Brook. We're about to reintroduce white claw crayfish, that's the native species. These animals have been harvested from another stream elsewhere in the prime catchment. Um, that is isolated away from signal crayfish, the invasive non-native species that, that threaten them so much, but very much under risk in that site. So what we're doing is moving them to sites where the habitat is good and the water quality is good and reintroducing the species. It's a really important programme that helps uh, reintroduce the species across its former range. Here at Gloucester Wildlife Trust, we're exceedingly grateful for all the help we've had from our volunteers, staff, guests, landowners, and of course, Natural England, uh, our primary funder on this, this piece of work.